Okay, you have to know it all. So what is A? Five, five. Okay, A is five. What is B? B? It is 20. What is C? Seven. 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 Okay, so those are A, B, and C. Now, from that, we're going to determine whether it opens up or down. How do you know it opens up? Positive. What is positive? A. It's because A is positive. Now, you guys, on your homework, you don't, you don't have to tell me why, but on your quiz, I might ask you, how do I know this opens up? And you'd have to say, because A is positive. Okay, what is my vertex? What is my vertex? It's the minimum point. Why? It, because A is positive. What is another reason that you could put? Because um, be, that makes it the minimum point. And because it opens up. So for the minim for your vertex being the minimum, I would accept A is positive or because the, um, because the parabola opens up. Then the next thing that you have to find is the y-intercept. And you guys, the y-intercept is always 0 comma C. So 0 comma what number? Okay. Now, you need to find the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry equation never changes. It is always x equals the opposite of b over 2a. And I want you to make sure that this minus sign goes with the b. And what is b? So it's the opposite of b. So what is b? 2 times a. What is a? Remember, this is the opposite of B over 2 times A. What is the opposite of 20? Negative 20. What is 2 times 5? So my axis of symmetry equals what? Negative 2. You guys, when you write your axis of symmetry, there has to be an X in front of it because it is a line. So we're going to talk about that line tomorrow when we go to graph it, okay? And now the last thing that we're going to find is the coordinates of the vertex. <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to find the coordinates of the vertex. To find the coordinates of the vertex, we're going to take this number and we're going to plug it into this equation. So I always rewrite my equation again, you guys, so especially in my notes so that you can see what I'm doing. So this is the equation that was given to you. Now I'm going to replace x with this answer. So you guys, on a quiz, on a test, if you get this wrong but you know to plug it in, you would still get credit um, if you get the right answer I, because everything builds on each other. So here we go y equals 5 um, times negative 2 squared. So I'm just replacing x with the negative 2 plus 20 times negative 2 plus 7. Again, I got the negative 2 from the x equals negative 2. Now when I go to put it in my calculator, you guys, let me show you what I, how I would do it. Why is 2 the second power? Because it's x squared. So it said 5x squared, so when you replace x with negative 2, it becomes to the negative second. Okay, so now this is what I'm going to do when I go to do this. I do 5 times negative 2 times negative 2 plus 20 times negative 2 plus 7. I just put it in one long equation into my calculator. I don't worry about parentheses and the squared. I just put it in long, and then I get my answer. So I just want to show you again. And y equals negative 13. And that means the coordinates of my vertex. Sorry. For, that means the coordinates of my vertex are this negative 2 and this negative 13.
okay? So the coordinates of the vertex require a little bit more work, but you can do it. You just need to make sure that when you're finding the axis symmetry that you're paying attention to those little details.